right, so what I was going to explain in the car is I had this crazy dream. I only had like two hours of sleep and I was awake. My dream felt, you know, you have those dreams where like they're just so real. Oh, so real. Well, that's what happened. Woke my butt up. And the dream is we were like in the middle of like, well, not in the middle. We got to, my daughter and I got to witness in my dream a nuclear explosion. That's all I can say it is. Bright lights, everything's whoosh. But we, obviously, we survived in my dream, because it's a dream, so why would I kill myself in my dream, right? I don't know. <laughs> like people, maybe that's why I woke up. So, we're at a park, in the parking lot, we're getting ready to leave, and I don't have this car, I have an SUV. And I'm behind there putting stuff in the back, and I look over the side, I see people running, and they're running, 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 running. I'm like, why are they running? I'm looking around the side like this. That's weird. But they put... For some reason, because, you know, it's my brain, so all of a sudden I knew what was going to happen. So I grabbed my daughter through the ground and I shielded her. And that was it. Then we're in the car, we're driving, and I'm trying to get back home. And then all of a sudden my home is a... It's an apartment. And I don't have... I don't live in an apartment. So it's really weird how that happens. Like, your brain just does whatever it wants, but... I've been listening to a lot of books on, uh, you know, EMPs and end of the world and a lot of fiction books. Brain just does whatever it wants. But I've been listening to a lot of books on, uh, you know, EMPs and end of the world and a lot of fiction books. Uh, I guess it must be in my subconscious. But. The whole, I, the reason why I picked those books because of all the stuff that's been going on in the world, well, i.e. North Korea. So North Korea has been testing a lot of uh, missiles. So I'm popping over to the store real quick. Go ahead and film that store real quick. It even says survival store. <laughs> Legit. Anyway, so I'm going to go check it out. Um, the main thing that I got from that dream was radiation poisoning. Like, that's a real thing. Uh, your th thyroid can't process radiation, so I guess that's how it works. So if you take uh, iodine pills, potassium iodine, what it's going to do, it's going to uh, fill up your thyroid, so it won't absorb any other type of uh, iodine, which would be radioactive iodine. There's other health effects to taking that stuff. So, but not like I want to take it now. You know, we don't need to be in a nuclear strike for that to be in peril, I guess you could say. But, um, I don't know. It's just something that you probably should have. Uh, I'm pretty sure the average, uh, the average person doesn't actually have iodine pills for radiation poisoning. So, I don't know. You're probably watching me like, man, this guy's gone off the deep end. Well, I guess. But my little neighborhood's going to survive uh, a fallout, so look at this. We got tubs right here for water to go. Look at that. Pretty cool. Look at they even got a zombie in the back over there. Ooh. Anyway, I'm going to go check it out. They probably won't let me film. I don't think I'm going to, but... Maybe I get a couple of clips. Anyway, see you guys. <laughs> Come on, get it. You could put the pull right in the cotton too yeah, if that helps. Come on. Come on. Get it. All right, huh? Put some bubble grease in there. There you go. There you go. Yay! You guys want to give it a
about um, it's about a communism, a super nuke, a super, super, nu super nuclear warhead, um, super nuclear warfare, um, re-education, stuff like that. Um, the other day, I was looking up on Google um, what country had the best military, which country had the most nuclear weapons, and much more, just to look at that. And then I happened to have a dream, and then a vision, and um, that God gave me. And if you like this, press like, share, subscribe, press bell, and get my videos. Check it out. Check out my channel. I think you'll like it. Tell your family and friends about me and all that. So, uh, I'm not trying to be a doomsday prophet or anything like that. I'm just trying to tell you what God gave me. and. I, I guess I'm a prophet. I mean, God's shown me things, so whatever you want to call me. 14, 2020, that I was in a communist country. I believe it was Russia, but I'm not sure. It was very communistic, Marxist. Um, I was in some kind of re-education class where the, teacher was, where the teachers were teaching us all communism. They were trying to take my belief in Jesus Christ away. I kept saying, but the Bible of God says this and that. I met a Russian woman, I believe she was Russian, um, that, I believe, that I believe didn't get re-educated, she, so she wasn't brainwashed by all this. He indoctrinated us, re-educated us. Um, we had kids, so I guess that we were married. I guess this was supposed to be my wife in my dream. We were being re-educated and totally brainwashed. It looked voluntary, but I don't think it was. I was at some home with my wife and we kissed. I hugged her goodbye and said goodbye to our kids. This is the dream I was having, was on. I woke up the next morning from my dream and saw outer space. This is what I was seeing with my eyes wide awake and seeing a vision on 11, 15, 2020. It was as, it was as I looked up and I saw and I, and, and I saw who had the best missile defense. I began to travel into space somehow and went around something and saw the word, of, the words of God. I knew that the, the word, or sorry, the words of God. I knew that um, this was the best defense. God is the best defense. Trust me. Um, with this, um, with this uh, super nuke that I saw, um, that had, a, I believe that they have a super nuclear, super power nuke, super nuclear warhead, or super nuke, whatever you want to call it. I know for some reason I'm thinking it's India. Vision, I'm sorry. That that could and it was a super nuke that could obliterate everything. I believe the entire world that was. A, I believe the entire world it could obliterate it could obliterate the whole entire whole entire planet, the whole entire world. And um, that was um, that was all of the dream. God gave me these words: fervent heat. He gave me fervent heat. Um, I looked up in the Bible and according to my phone and found nuclear. War, I found uh, fervent heat in there, and, and it was in Second Peter 3.10, talking about nuclear warfare. But the day the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat, the earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. So that was with fervent heat that God showed me. I believe this is nuclear warfare. I believe possibly the earth that the nations will destroy themselves with nuclear warfare is why it says the earth will be burned up is why I think that is why I think the earth will be burned up because the earth will be burned up because the earth will destroy each other. the nations will come and rise against the nation like in Matthew 24 and destroy one another with nuclear warfare um, so um, that is why it says the earth will be burned up the nuclear weapons will melt the earth they will make a great noise. The world will destroy itself. That's what I'm thinking. I know God's wrath is supposed to come down on the earth in the last days. But what if he lets his wrath out that way too? God could. Just let the world destroy itself. You know? That's what, that's what they want. That's what could, probably, that's what could happen. Here and uh, let you know about a dream that I had. I know that when I began having multiple dreams and visions in mid-November to 3, verse 16 to 21, and I'm not going to go over all the verses, but I'll just cover the verse that strikes me the most, and this verse is uh, verse 17. It says, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel, therefore Hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. 
um, as I mentioned in my other video, this is why I'm here on YouTube. Yes. Now I know I'm not the only person, and I'm definitely not anyone special. I don't know how I knew it was God, but in my dream I just knew it was Him. The voice was loud and somewhat powerful and authoritative. I could not pick up exactly what he said, but somehow in the dream I knew he was not happy and that he will be pouring out his judgment very soon. Um, though I could not clearly make out what he said, I did, however, saw a very vivid image of an, ex of an explosion. I saw a nuclear explosion with this mushroom cloud on the top. I saw only one explosion and it was, I remember it was just gray with this mushroom on the top, mushroom cloud looking thing on the top. And after this explosion that I saw, the word Norfolk uh, spelled N-O-R-F as in Frank, O-L-K, Norfolk, very clearly and repeatedly came to my mind. And that was kind of weird, I thought. And then the dream ended and I woke up. When I woke up, all I could think about was the word Norfolk. My first thought was, where or what is Norfolk? I'm not familiar with Norfolk at all, so it was very strange to even have this word come to me in the dream. So I just lay there in bed thinking about what or where is Norfolk. Then the thought Virginia came to my mind, and I believe the Holy Spirit told me this. So after that, I fell back asleep. And when I woke up, it was daylight. Um, I forgot about the dream, but somehow it came back to my mind in the, the later morning to look it up online where Norfolk is located, just as confirmation. And sure enough, it is located in Virginia. Now, my uh, geography of the Eastern United States is really bad. Uh, most of my life I've lived in the West, so I really didn't know where or what Norfolk was. But I believe the Holy Spirit told me right after the dream that it is located in Virginia. So when I went online to confirm what was given to me, and of course I found that it was lo that it is located in Virginia. And uh, while online, I did more research about the city. Well, come to find out, the city has the largest Navy base in the world and serves as a strategic military and transportation point. It also has one of NATO's two strategic command headquarters located there. Now, in the dream, I saw that nuclear explosion and then the word Norfolk came to mind. And again, like I said, I am not familiar with that city at all. So this leads me to think that the nuclear explosion happened in Norfolk. Um, the nuclear explosion went off in, this, in the city where the world's largest Navy base is located. So how scary is that? Um, please uh, keep in mind I'm not predicting anything here. I'm only reporting the dream which I believe was given to me by the Lord. Uh, just to you know, let you know what I saw. And um, be prepared because I believe, truly believe, um, there are dark days ahead of us. And if you don't know Jesus now, don't know Jesus is a devil, 
If you don't know all those names they've been calling on all this long time, ain't nothing but doubles and demons, then you're going down the wrong path. Don't say the names. Only praise the Creator. Remember, the Force is with you. Peace and love. Praise our Creator, who is a spirit, and not man nor woman, and does not have a body. Praise the Creator all the days of our lives, physical and spiritual.